Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I did the wrong button again. I'm gonna go just just, just because I forgot about it. I, I know I forgot everything. Then I, <laughs> I'm gonna go back over here and look up in the trees. There's a note. I was already here before and I should have got this when I was here before. <laughs> I know we've got plenty of power moons. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty tricky one. You probably want to do one side first and then move back to the middle and then go to the other side. Probably. Oh, oh I thought that there was three trees to take care of. Oh, maybe maybe it's not as tricky as I thought. <laughs> Beautiful. Taking notes, jump on the palm. And now, since we've waited a good amount of time, I, I might as well. Might as well go and free the moons from the plants because... Well, I got all the seeds, so I might as well fill the needs of 100% completion. So, yeah, you, you probably noticed that there are moons on the pots, so it's pretty obvious what these sorts of prizes are going to be. Desert gardening, ruins seed, that was the one that was back over around the tower, you know, where there's a quicksand, the fencing, etc, etc. And this one was the one that was over by... The cliffside, seed on a, uh, well, seed on the cliff, so there we go. And I'm leaving here for now. <laughs> I've, I've done so much, so much. I've got 56 moons, and believe it or not, that isn't even all of them. <laughs> It's quite a lot more. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put a whole bunch of moons into the Odyssey. And I do mean a whole bunch of moons <laughs> into the Odyssey. And there we go. And you'll notice that our sticker that we bought in the last part is on the side of the on the ship now. I'll go inside the ship too and show you that when we reach the next destination and whatnot, but you've got 62 moons. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we're gonna come across a split path like, oh man! What the poop? What the poop? You can go to the Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom. Doesn't really matter which one you pick, but I'm gonna pick the Lake Kingdom because it's the top choice and because it's incredibly beautiful. Just wait until you see this place. And by the way, once you pick one, you can't pick the other until later. <laughs> so don't worry, you haven't missed anything by choosing one or the other. You'll give you'll be able to unlock the other one a little bit later on. Don't panic. Everything is okay. We've got so many moons, we can unlock all the kingdoms at <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're gonna come across another sort of hat trick, I guess you could say. <laughs> We're gonna get some tips and discussions with Cappy. He kidnapped Tiara, and now with this ring binding man, he's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? Seeing as how you've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. The homing cap throw. You've done this before. After throwing your cap, shake the Joy-Con again and perform a homing cap throw. Your cap will fly toward the nearest target. You see, it's super handy when your aim's a little bit off. Well, there it is. But oh, I guess I don't have to show you the inside. We've, <laughs> yeah, you can actually see the floating pyramid that we bought along with the Jaxi. Yeah, we're building the interior of the trinkets basically as we go. Lake Kingdom. It says they're known for their fashion. And, oh, there's a famous wedding gown there called the Lock Lady dress. That's the name of the residents around here, our lock ladies. You'll, you'll see when we get there. <laughs> oh, the beauty! It's... It's impossibly beautiful. And never before did I think there could be a world this beautiful. Brutals over the lake. Guess who we're facing next? <laughs> well... Not for a little while. It'll take us a while to get there. The, the, the rules are here too. Eh, yeah, should be just fine. Anyway, you've seen right off the bat in the cutscene. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> it's just some cut, some new regional coins are right there. And by the way, um, if you want to enter the Odyssey, you can of course use the door over here, or 
There's a little lesser known method. There's this little starburst plate on here. Ground pound it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, well, I don't think this is quite as airtight for space travel, but it works. It works. <laughs> oh, actually, I should probably show you one more thing as long as they're, as long as they're here. Um, there is... This little pamphlet here, you can check out, yeah, this is just a little shortcut way and you can read the stuff on the locals and, and the whatnot like that. I, I think I'll read them a little bit later on, but I'm just kind of kind of in the mood to collect some more moons. Because, you know, despite all those moons we got, it still needs eight more. Like, how is that possible? I, it, no, this cannot be. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's always like that, no matter how many moons you get. It's like a, it's like a progress barrier of sorts. You can take a look, see around if you'd like to. If you, you know, it's not you can't really see all that much using this one in particular. But you know you can you can look around, enjoy the sparkles. Anyway, I'm out of here. So there is uh, this is kind of broken down, so you cannot get just straight up through there. They've broken the stairs to the water plaza. Oh no! Oh. That is awful! We're gonna have to take the side routes all day and all night. Well, that only means that we can just use a zipper and, uh, you know, just open stuff up and maybe find our way forward using one of them eventually. <laughs> yes, you can even take control of a zipper. <laughs> In this game, you just never know what the poop things will be. Come on, let me hit. Okay, there we go. You'll never know what the poop will unlock. Well, I should say, it you'll be able to take care of or take the control of. I am most home in the water. Me too! Kinda. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Uh, another reason why I wanted to come to this kingdom was to show you more swimming tactics. You can press ZL to do dives like so. Pressing B will make you go up to the surface like so. And if you don't touch anything, you'll sink. And that's you can also throw your hat underwater. That's pretty much all that you can do for the most part. I mean, you can you can enjoy the sights. Basically, you're, you're a lot more restricted underwater. <laughs> let's put it that way. Uh, let's go ahead and get these notes. You've already done one of these. This part in the Sand Kingdom. Let's see if we can get another one done here really quick and hopefully without failing, because the time is. Iffy! Okay, maybe not that iffy. I was gonna say because of the uh, slowness in the water. It might slow me down if I'm not efficient enough. But anyway! Dive and swim! By the way, you might have noticed that the kingdom's moons are, well, all different color. So, yeah, it's like a fresh, new perspective of recolors. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, that's right. You have to use, yeah, yeah, that. I was gonna, I, I was gonna like gonna ground pound, but that won't work. You gotta hit it from the side. <laughs> anyway, I don't wanna use that flower in the middle just yet because I'm not ready to make progress, progress. But there is another one of these mysterious blocks. Hmm. Hmm. Very mysterious indeed. Unless you've beaten the game before. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, one more thing that I'd like to do here is grab this zipper. There we go, and I think I will have pretty much cleared out this first area decent enough for now because there's not a lot of stuff that's really unlocked here right now. So let's just go ahead and go ahead get ourselves up here. If you're looking for the water plaza, the way is in right behind me. Oh, those coins, they must be in the... Oh, it's a zipper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the coins, they tell all, they hint all, they show all, oh, I, I can't go left, I gotta go to the right, I, I guess that makes sense, because zippers are, they get stopped at a certain point, so here we are, there's a way back up through there, if you'd like to go, if you'd like to go back, and you, like, you get scared, but don't worry, don't worry, we, we've, we've learned how to swim, and we will utilize our swimming progress to dive deep, watch out for the spikes on your way down here, Watch out for those sparks! Oh no! And also watch out for these purple coins! Because they're kinda kinda well hidden and you don't wanna miss something like that. So okay, and those spikes, you know, in all honesty, I don't think they would be that threatening in real life. You'd just be able to walk in between them because they're so chunky. Or maybe 
you're just not pointy enough to actually have an impact, especially since you're underwater and you know you're you're not as weighty. But you know, game logic. Perhaps we should not question. It, it, we've learned that once before, so we should probably stick to that for the future. Yeah, bubbles, you gotta keep your air up, so keep grabbing bubbles along the way. And there's also this side path here, which is not really a side path if you want to go for 100%. Hello there, moon! How is it going? Treasure in the spiky waterway. It's not even that dangerous to get in here. It's more dangerous leaving, I guess, because there's... You know, you land down at the spikes, but when you're coming through here, you have a pretty clear view of the spikes, and you're more likely to drop down on them from above. Anyway, Kombu here is a kelp, and <laughs> it's just, they're just tall, they, they just wander around and just kind of try and attack you. They're, they're doing their best, but they're not that threatening of a, of a critter. Nor are these cheap cheeps, as a matter of fact. Guess what we can do with the cheap cheeps? Yes! My dream of being a fish, it has been realized. I told you I am at home in the water. <laughs> so let's get this little checkpoint slash warp, the underwater entrance. Fish never have to worry about air. Indeedly do. Well, actually, that's kind of unrealistic. Some fish, they like air. They, they Actually, most fish like air. <laughs> <laughs> they, they come to the surface to get a little bubble every so often. They don't need it all that often, but they still sort of need it. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and clear this stuff out. I, th I think you know what I'm. Uh, what I'm gonna go for last here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> cheap, cheap crossing. Heck yeah! And also, I'd like to take a peek see around for. These dealios here. You take a look around. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's this over here glowing bunk. Woo! Well, it's not a moon, but it is a bunch of coins, which I guess is good for 100%ing stuff because you gotta collect those costumes to get stuff in the future and all like that. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm pressing B to go up, Y to go down. You probably noticed that, and yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking for those little moon shards around these parts, if you don't mind. Just, just really quick. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Is Dory having a good time with a moon on its back? But it's that one's really easy to get. So I might as well just wait on that, or wade on that, if you want to have water terms. Oh, 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 that was that was just awful. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and open this sucker up. Hello there. <laughs> well, would you look at that? It's another moon. Well, a shard of a moon. And yes, I'm gonna have to grab another fish to make it make it safe for me to go around the lower area here. So let me go ahead and grab myself another cheap cheap by this other moon shard here. You know, I say there. Yeah, there we go. I forgot what the last one was, but I, I said that before at the Sand Kingdom, and I eventually found the two, so... Let's look around and see... Wait, wait, oh, I see it! It's up there. Okay. I remember now, because I've seen it. Oh, no, don't worry, I'm not, not gonna hurt you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, we can't go inside the hat door, because some some troublemakers put a rock there. It's almost as if stuff, is, stuff has got to be unlocked later on, like before. <laughs> Anyway, if what you want to do actually to get that moon a bit easier is to go up to the top. Ah, uh -huh, look at that. Aha, uh -huh. you can get it the other way just fine as well, but eh, eh, eh. I wanted to show you <laughs> the, the, the easier way, I guess. And let's go ahead and grab this moon. By the way, this is a pretty small kingdom, so uh, it should be pretty quick to run through for the most part, I, I think. What did you, what did you have to say there? Oh, precious lock lady dress stolen, I can't believe it! Oh, no! No! You know, I could use another fish, or... Uh, actually, no, I'm just gonna go back here where that glowy spot I seen was, and... Uh, let's get my shadow above it. Yeah, it's hard. It's not a moon, though. Not all glowy spots are moons, but if you see a glowy spot, you would be wise to ground pound it. Uh, might as well go ahead and snatch these up as well. Yeah, there's not really all that much that I can do before I reach over the boss battle and whatnot, so... Wait, did I get all the coins there? Okay, yeah, I guess I did. And don't worry about, uh, 
losing that much air. It takes a while even after that to take damage, so you have a lot more uh, you have a lot more leeway than it actually looks <laughs> with your air meter there. Oh, out of the way, please. Okay, fine. But I'm taking your rider, if you don't mind. <laughs> to hurry back, rider. Yeah. Um, now up over here, there should be someone looking for a fish. She's like, she's like, well, actually, I'll, I'll get the dialogue first. She's like, oh wait, maybe it's not right now. I can't stand that bows unless there's vile henchmen. They stole our beloved lock lady dress. Yeah, I guess it's not right now. But later, she wants a fish. You gotta get a fish in there. So, oh, I, you know, I, f I forgot to mention, um, cheap cheap controls. This is a, it's a little bit more that you can do with the cheap cheap controls that I actually showed you, namely at the surface. And that what you can do is actually hop out of the water and. Well, I'll, I just, yeah, I gotta get, you gotta actually hold the B button to do the jump. Yeah, you could use this to actually get past things that you wouldn't normally be able to get past without having to take the long way around. Like, say, if I wanted to take a shortcut up to the boss arena, I could, I would just, you know, just kind of go ahead and jump out of the fish and then do a wall kick and then do a little hat trick. Out of, you know, I, I could if I wanted to. But you know what? But you know what? Not right now. I will save that for a race. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna go down, down, down to the ground, the ground, ground. Because as you may have noticed, there's these holes. Yeah, they're like strangely filled with air. You'd think that they wouldn't care about air, but no, they're, they're okay. <laughs> now, down over here. You might want to take a fish for that, but I don't think I can do that right now. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that after I beat the boss and stuff like that. <laughs> and up through here, you can actually, yeah, you can swim up thusly, but I'm not ready here. You got a cat, Peach. If you, <laughs> Yeah, those little Easter egg thingies like that that you can find along the way. If you hit them with your hat or something, you can get a prize out of them, usually. Hmm. Hmm. Where is the thing that I'm looking for down here, though? There it is! Ah, oh, you found me. Very clever. You can have this as a reward. Woo! Our <laughs> secret little room. Wait a second. What are you implying? Oops. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't mean to. Let's keep this place a little secret. Okay, after that ha accidental hat throw, we probably should. Now, over here, you can get a bunch of coins. I remember that at this corner. I just didn't remember what alcove contained the moon that I was sodding after and whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I guess this is... Oh, you know what? I should probably show the parrot now. There's parrots in every world. What is the secret you're seeking? I know it! I know it! Ha ha! I can't tell you. I give you a clue. Moon from the broken pillar. It's hiding somewhere. No peeking. Go find it. Go find it. Let's go. So it, the parrots give you hints to moons in the world and stuff like that. So if you're ever having trouble, you might want to check that. It's not as specific as getting a hint from Uncle Amiibo or the Toad, but it's it's helpful. <laughs> if you travel all the way to the Lake Kingdom, you should dress for the occasion. You need to get into the Lock Lady dress display, you know, you'll have to dress like a swimmer. Traveler, you look ready to swim, but please go inside. It's because I have... <laughs> yup. <laughs> it's I have the swim shorts on. <laughs> and that is why I came in here. <laughs> I mean, that's why I got these ahead of time. <laughs> and throw the hat on the Lock Lady dress pedestal and you'll get a moon. You'll also get another moon for wearing this ensemble, so... I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll feel undressed. I'll show you that in the future, but for now, let's just go on, move on ahead here. Going up the floors gradually. Thank you. Thank you. I had a good time. <laughs> just enjoying the breeze on my skin. So this is where the dress was just off. I was just in there! <laughs> You're late to the party there, Cappy. I miss I'll go in the shop later. I don't have a lot of purple coins at the moment in time. Eh, mm, yeah, things are okay, I guess. <laughs> you, you, you'll see what I mean. I'll, I'll boot them out before you know it. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> now, anyway, I want to go down here to get these. Yeah, I guess another ledge grab thing. <laughs> there we go. Now to get up to the top a little bit 
easier. I'm just gonna go up and around this way. Yeah, if you drop down that. Oh wait, actually no, that's. Uh, wait, no, that's right. That's right. I was gonna say I think I went the the wrong way, but no, no, no. I, I, that's definitely why I want to do it. And I can get up to the roof through that shaft. How handy. How? Wait a second. Did I? Was it because I missed that one coin? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so if you jump back down, obviously there's uh. You know, you just go back down to the lower floor that we are already on. You could probably do some fancy jumping tricks to get from down there to up here, but eh, I just took this route. I'm, I'm taking the scenic routes, the regular routes this time around on this place, as you might as you might have guessed. Because I pointed out a bunch of tricks, but I was like, nah, I won't do those tricks right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and climb up through here. Well, swim up through here through these mysterious water bubbles and look at that purple coins behind the edges craziness now if we put this down here we can get these purple coins a lot easier and we might as well jump down here and get these three purple coins I know it's exciting isn't it Mario yeah, his face was like Whoa, purple coins yeah and then now that this is unlocked we can now go back and forth through here as we please heck yeah yes there's coins and uh, coin the giblets up there I think there's a moon actually if I ground pound one of those but I think it's associated with something in the future because I don't feel the rumble right now. Uh, you know what? I'll just go boss it up. <laughs> unless, wait, unless there's like someone hanging out in the upper floors that'll give me some dialogue. Oops, some dialogue right now. But I don't think there was. Because I'm gonna go through. Yeah, I don't think there were. Because I'm gonna go through those later anyway on my way back here. So I'm just gonna go flop through here. And yes, this is the spot that I could have shortcutted up here with the cheap cheap. Just way, way, way early. <laughs> Without, without having to do any of that whatsoever and you know this is this is kind of unfortunate with my health here really quick hold on I'm just gonna take a little side route where I do believe I, that there is a heart somewhere uh, I think there was a heart in oh it was that box over there save that pipe for later <laughs> I remember it was around this side that's all you need to know I guess <laughs> Or at least all I need to know, I guess. Oh wait, maybe it was a moon? Oh, it was a moon, not a heart. Well, I'll, I'll take this too, anyway. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I die on the boss, it's not that big deal, big of a deal or anything like that. <laughs> uh, you just had to go up there, didn't you? I said I was gonna go up there later, but you're making me do it now, just because of the sake of organization. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. I'll, I'll do it this way. If you're, if you're gonna be like that, if you're gonna, you know, make me play that game. I'll go around that way. Yeah, I forgot that one in the box actually goes all the way up there. It's another one of those mysteriously inconvenient moons for seemingly no reason. And yes, there's a secret up there. Save that for later too. Because <laughs> once, once we boot out the bosses, we'll be able to uh, actually do some real, truly clearing out of this place so anyway let's just go ahead and flop on over here anyway yeah I noticed that I also got the moon and it recovered my health that's that's another thing that I guess is pretty nice it's not a heart but it you know it works it works water plaza terrace you can hear the signature music behold <laughs> oh, 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 oh you're too late we already got the lock lady dress by the way, everything just really sparkles in this world. <laughs> yeah, the ships, the, the the seemingly rusty metal, <laughs> and it even matches the boss's tuxedo. So no way we're giving it back. It's Rango, and there's a flower underneath his hat. Did you notice that? Flip it over. Boing. Boing. Yeah, if you press ZL, you can do that little quick spinny move there. And now we wait until he becomes vulnerable again. He's got a buzz saw in his hat, and he knows how to use it. All right, throw your hat again, please, if you don't mind. Oh, you're doing trick shots now. Craziness, craziness. I don't know what he's got like different attack patterns, so it depends on what he does. And it's like I stand in front of him, expecting the frontal shots, the full frontal shots, and nothing comes of it. <laughs> He does, does the boomerang. Alright, let's see what he does this time. Book, book. 
Hey, he's not that hard of a boss, as you can tell. That's why I wasn't really too worried about being at low health, but... I figured as long as I unlocked that moon, I might as well. Alright, I win. <laughs> Woohoo! Booted out of the kingdom in under 25 minutes. <laughs> Actually, it was less than that, because I was doing stuff at the Sand Kingdom. Heck yeah! Oh yeah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, cutscene. Do your playing. I'm not ready to leave the world, but do your playing anyway. <laughs> it put me back over to the start, but that's actually okay. Because there's now stuff that I can do here. Look at that! The, the, the stairs are back! Craziness, right? Craziness! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm totally worried about them too, so you should probably get going in the next part. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then while I look out, I mean, look around this beautiful kingdom for more stuff and, you know, kind of, kind of leave Peach hanging. She'll be fine, she's used to dealing with Bowser.